Hey guys, Cobra here. Welcome to another day on the free brew account. 91 days here playing as a free to play. Uh, picked up some immortal sets today. Uh, nothing too crazy in the coming days uh, for for the daily login. Um, our status for for shards, guys, for Friday when we do have that two x on the void is six shards. So I was thinking I will be opening up my void shards for the single reason, guys. This is a two x on void. Voids are very, very important for progression. Uh, those epics do make a difference, and you see how much difference Godseeker and Eerie made to my account. So picking up champions like a Seer, a Madam Series, a, a uh, what's him, what's his, his name, Manitor. Uh, there's so many epics that are so good on on an account that's new as mine. So even picking up a Bellower at the point where I'm at might be useful for at least faction wars. Uh, Cold Heart is of course. Uh, amazing champion so uh, many reasons to open these up i know the points are needed you know yeah really needed um for for the new fusion that's coming in about two weeks time 13th of april so i will have the sacred shards i will have some ancient shards until then trying to save up as many mystery shards also as possible um, so I think that will cover it in terms of points and I don't need to save my void charts I'll be opening them up uh, this weekend. So what else did I do for, for the account? Of course, you guys know that I finished the champion training picked up the legendary skill tone in terms of events We only have the dungeon divers today tomorrow. We're gonna have a summon rush for the 2x also It still shows the second anniversary there and uh, on tournaments. We do have some new tournaments today uh, and it's the champion training tournament instead Actually, this champion training tournament is interesting because of the void shard in the end. Eight and a half thousand points um, over two days time is not is not anything that's impossible. So I might push for it. I don't know yet. I think I have farmed enough. Uh, I want to take a small break from farming, not using my gems. Although I've got like two two thousand two hundred gems. There's why would I not use them? Um, I mean, it's a good good reason to use them and I've look at all this silver that I've saved so far I'll keep saving it we are definitely gonna have some artifact enhancement events for the new fusion so this silver will come in handy uh, by that time just selling gear that you get from the campaign yeah it's it piles up slowly but surely so uh, look at all these arena refreshes that I have we did have the update which gave me another refresh but it's uh, the the arena is just too hard it it it's not that it's too hard. It's it's too boring. The teams are too tanky uh, That's the reality. They're too tanky and I just can't take them down fast each each fight usually takes like two minutes And it's a lot of time. It's a lot of time to uh, To take away from my day, especially when I don't have so much free time So um, I try to farm as much as I can get that great hole going But it's going very slow and that's gonna be the sole reason that I'm, I'm I'll be you know um, going through this this list of uh, of missions very very slowly especially great hole level 9 again and then great hole level 10 ah so close together to these missions but yet so so hard anyway guys um we do have something to work on for today um we're not going to do clown boss in this video i will show you the doom tower uh try out on nether spider so nether uh stage 90 you guys if you remember my team before it was um my little friend here, Iron Brago. Let me get the remaining of the team up. So I think it was Saito. Wait, was it Saito? I think it was Saito. And then uh, God Secure Energy for sure. Okay, this was the team. This was the team that cleared it the last time. Let's see if it works for um, for this level instead. So this level should be a little bit more difficult just for the reason of well it's the next level the nether spider uh the burst will be even more than before i don't think the waves will be any issue to me so i wonder where are we gonna hit the wall in terms of both the waves and the bosses so um after this is going to be round 91 all the way to round 99 that i'll be able to access today tomorrow i'll be doing stage 100 so considering if I win this, so if I win this, I'll be able to go to stage 100 tomorrow. So that should be cool. Like imagine if I can actually finish off Doom Tower within these three sets. I'll be so happy. It's it's gonna be a huge milestone for me as as a free to play um, account. So wondering about that. Did I use Saito on the previous round? 
I should have checked it. I should have checked it before. Didn't check it though. So uh, here I'm going manual just because I don't want to use my cooldowns. Just to ensure that everything is ready once we go in there to the boss. Because the boss, if you remember, will apply four poisons or, or try to apply at least four poisons to each member at the start of the turn. So uh, before I even managed to do anything, it wasn't like this when the boss was released. But they saw uh, what kind of cheese teams uh, everybody was running. So they said, no, 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 we don't want the cheese uh, happening right here. So we're going to use normal um normal teams and have the boss do this at the start of the turn so four poisons on everybody um unfortunately i don't have the the aoe right now to take down the ads but it's fine i'll go with the cleanse oh don't even have the cleanse oh might be might be an issue here so who needs healing i think i think we're fine with most of them but i'll heal her instead so oh look at that there's the death are we going to have Revive on Death? There it is. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So uh, the boss did a lot of damage on my God Secure and he did not expect that for sure. Let's see. Can we kill the ads? There they are. Okay, they're dead. So now uh, Apothecary needs to do his healing now. And uh, we're not going to do the cleanse right now. Because we don't need it. But we will need it soon enough. So uh, I'll do this. Wow, the boss definitely hit so hard on that God Security. I thought she would survive the hit, but it appears that, um, yeah, was too strong. So let's see. She's still going to go for this. Maybe wait for the boss to actually um, get the adds down before I do that again. So the boss's next turn is going to be the annoying one. So let's get the defense up going, although it doesn't really matter. Get some defense up. There it is. On Saito, do something here. Let's have a little bit of damage. Now we are going to see the adds drop down. And that's when I'll try to take them down with AoE. With either Brago or Saito. So here, this is why um, Sanguinia is so good here. Look at this. Look at this now. Look at the cleanse, first of all. And hopefully the transfer of at least one poison. So it's one poison there because she is strong affinity. So probably got a weak hit. I didn't really uh, check it before saying, but I think it's because of weak hits. Oh, there's Iron Brago. Oh, everybody's taking turns now. And the boss is healing. So it wasn't enough damage there. Mm, big mistake. Look at this. I'm probably dead. I'm probably dead. Maybe I should go for this run again. Uh, but I'm probably dead. Look at all the poisons on everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not. It's, it's not enough. We're dead. Uh, unless I do this, okay, maybe. Wow, so many poisons. Who died? Okay, Iron Brago died. Um, wow, 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 that was such a bad hit. So we need her to be healed. Okay, if she's healed, we're fine. She has the auto auto revive. We're basically starting up again <laughs> from zero. Uh, big mistake, but. Um, I did not think that Brago wouldn't be able to kill the ads. Now we do have the A3 from, from uh, Saito. So it's available for us. And I should be able to just take down the boss slowly but surely. So I'll skip the video a bit until the end. So you guys can see uh, where we at in a few minutes time. Okay, so getting close to the end. As you can see, um, the, the boss does does spread a ton of poisons whenever she takes her turn and does this. So the Brood Feast, Brood Feast or whatever it's called. So I'm trying to hit the boss now and wait for Sanguinia to take a turn. And hopefully that's going to be um, when I'll be able to take down the boss. So here I'll heal Sanguinia just because I basically need her to do that and not die. She, she, she's got four poisons on her this time. There it is, a five turn cooldown. So if I did have it booked... I would have more comfort with this, but it's working so far and uh, hopefully this time we'll transfer the poisons because it's not booked, so it's only 75% chance to transfer them. Let's see. There it is. Okay, cleansed up, ready to go. And then my Saito goes. So happy with building uh, Saito as a burst champion. There it is. Now I put it on auto after I do that transfer and I take down the spiralings. I put it on auto and it's fine. Uh, it should be an easy win here. No issues with that. And uh, 
Come on. One War Master hit is all I need. One War Master. Should be here? Maybe? No. No War Master, but still, we got the kill. Look at that. Four, four star chickens. 139 turns to take it down, but look at these rewards. So happy about that. Uh, so stage 90 is down. I'll try to do the these stages. So maybe even pick up this energy right here. Should be nice. Get an accuracy glyph there. Um, I wonder if I find any difficulties. If I do find any difficulties, you guys are probably going to um, hear about this on tomorrow's episode. Uh, I'll probably check out this one as well, the secret room, and see if I can actually beat it. So I've got quite a few rooms to take down all the way to the final boss. I would be over the moon if I actually beat the boss, but one stage at a time, guys. One stage at a time. Um, didn't expect to actually beat this one. So already floor 90 done. So this one, two crisps. Um, just go and check it out. Check out what the crisps do. Is it too much health? I mean, if there's no block revive or anything like that, I'm ha I'm fine with that. I'm happy. Um, I don't think they'll they'll uh, ever take me down with all the defense that Iron Brago gives to my team, both with his aura for Doom Tower and the aura to the whole team. I see no reason why this team uh, can be taken down, with um, you know only exception being block revives. Block revives, like the more to macabre waves. If you guys remember, those might be difficult for my team. But overall, you know having a strong Double heal, team there, defense up, speed up, uh, having a dedicated nuker being Saito, who does have also, uh, you know, a way to heal himself with a life drinker passive. Uh, even if it, you know, something happens to my apothecary and he doesn't have a heal ready, or um, my god security who heals with uh, two ways and has two revives possible for a single target. Um, yeah, happy about that, but... Honestly, my God Security needs a little bit more tanky stats. I think she's on the weaker side, especially in terms of her health bar. Um, she has like 25,000 health and it seems to be a bit low. Like if you guys saw in the previous round with Nether Spider, on her first hit on my God Security, God Security went down, but because she has a self revive, uh, well, it's not a self revive, it's a revive to anybody, including herself, okay? which is automatic. It's, it's not a revive, she puts a revive on death buff. So if an enemy applies, I think, if I remember her, her kid, the only way around that is with a block buff. Look at that, revive on death, there it is, God secure and Um The good thing is we will, uh, we should be able to take them down. I mean, one target at a time. The three Altans here are an issue just because they revive um, an ally if they get a kill. So ooh, look at that already Saito is down, but Wow Defense down is being annoying, but let's see I'm actually considering Sanguinea now for level 60 just for the Doom Tower. I Mean I don't see a reason why not to get uh, Sanguinea, so Gotta remove all those All those defense downs those defense downs will be removed once that Final Crisk goes down. Um, he applies defense down and attack down when he is attacked. So not when, when he attacks. So it's, don't consider his attacks as a way to apply the debuffs. It's when you attack him. So even with an AoE, he will apply them. Um, not sure about the adds, but if you have your own Crisk, you'll see that on his passive, he has a chance to apply it. And uh, it's it's really annoying uh, when you are facing a Crisk. So, okay, this wave went better than I originally thought okay once round two started i saw saito dropping down two times but uh got secure and there for the rescue and the reset on cooldown definitely worth the books in the end so here i mean it's only alten that's that might cause an issue just because of that revive um i'll take down the targets it seems much easier than i thought what about uh debuffs are they applying is my Althar doing anything or is he just they're standing so far. He doesn't seem to be doing all that much. Don't see any poisons. Maybe it's on cooldown There's a block cooldown skills. That's nice So preventing that defense up from Altan who provokes Provokes ally protections here. That's gonna take a while Come on On Saito do your thing 
Iron Brago with that A3 big burst. I swear the books were definitely worth it. And yeah, I shouldn't have an issue here. Yeah, seems to be going well. Seems to be going well. Um, this is my team and this is the team that I'll be using all the way to hopefully 120. Uh, I'm not going to bore you guys with any more waves. I just wanted to check on, you know, um, round 91 just to see on how much different it would have to my team. Definitely, you know, a big increase in difficulty with the Krisk. And it's probably going to be uh, waves with Sifi, Roto says. I don't expect anything less out of Plarium. So here, uh, no block revised, but definitely hard hitters here with the Torvalds. But no no Ascension, so you know they're not as, as tough as in hard Doom Tower. So uh, this was the video for today, guys. As you know, Sanguinia was definitely worth it, it seems, for uh, putting her on my account. She is in the over... You know, maybe oversight in terms of accuracy. I mean, she might not need all that accuracy for her to work. And uh, I had somebody actually comment before I close the video. Actually, had actually somebody comment about Sanguinia not needing accuracy to transfer debuffs. If you guys have seen the latest update, that was a bug. If you were actually transferring debuffs without, um, without accuracy, then resistance will now be taken into account when transferring debuffs. So there it is. Uh, there it is. It's now fixed. So unfortunately for you guys who had any champions that transferred debuffs, maybe Lysandra, Sanguinia, I think there's a few more, another two or so champions, then now resistance will now be taken into account when transferring those. I was not aware of that from the start, that it was a bug. But um, yeah, it's now fixed. You need accuracy. That That's it. So thank you guys for watching another video on the Freebrew account. I definitely love showing the progression, at least on Doom Tower now, that it's something that we can actually everybody relate to. I want to hear your thoughts as free-to-play players who are struggling in normal Doom Tower. Which is the stage that is the most difficult, either rounds or bosses? So uh, leave that down in the comments. Thank you guys for watching. If you did watch my, um, my April Fool's video, uh yeah leave a comment on that also leave a like if you like it if not then don't leave a dislike <laughs> okay thank you guys and i'll see you in the next one see ya